Gonna make an update to part number four of Murphy's problem. Uh, we went and saw our local vet yesterday. Um, the appointment still isn't for June, and today is the end of uh, April, and um, his condition continues to deteriorate, and um, we've continued to search and we believe that we found a reasonable diagnosis for what's going on, and that would be a degenerative, degenerative myelopathy. And essentially what happens is the, the transmitters in the spinal column and the cells that uh, talk to the nerve endings and to the brain, they calcify or something happens over time and they start losing their ability to communicate and it most often starts in the back legs and will work its way up over time. The, um, we realized that his problem really started quite a ways ago. Uh, we've always made, well, we haven't always, but we've made jokes about him being a toe dragger because when we take him out for nice walks in the park or wherever that there's pavement, you'll hear his uh, toes on the back legs go scrape, scrape. And come to find out that is an early diagnosis or an early symptom of the degenerative myelopathy. Um, and as time goes on, that weakness or numbness or whatever is happening in the, in the back legs will work its way up through the spine into the front legs. And right now where he is, is there's an awful lot of weakness and he's progressed to the point that his front legs are also very weak and he stumbles. There's a test the doctors do where they they take their paw and they, they curve it under and put weight down on it. And if the dog doesn't recognize that's happening and just collapses, that's a sign that they can't, you know, that they're not recovering. And he does that. Whenever his uh, feet fold over, he just goes down. So we talked to the vet and... Um, while she's not a neurologist, we went over all the symptoms that are occurring and she, she agrees that it's a reasonable diagnosis for him at this point. And of course the ataxia we've been talking about, that's that dizziness and, and whatnot that occurs. But he's not so much dizzy, he just doesn't have the ability to put weight and manage his limbs. Um, he's gotten to the point to where his head really shakes. He's out here in the wind, he's trying to focus on things. And, but he, he shakes while he's uh, holding his head up and um, he's having a lot of difficulty. Problems we've had, uh, he fell off the couch the other night. That was on us, that was on me um, because I, I saw him moving towards the edge and he's always been able to get off the couch Well, until this and he, he just went down. Um, I've got a lot of video footage of some things happening that it's disturbing to watch, especially for me. And here we go, here's a bunny rabbit that just showed up in the middle of us talking. And he loves, my goodness, does he love bunnies. He loves bunnies. He loves bunnies. And uh, this doesn't usually happen. They don't usually just show up. But bunnies are his favorite. Anyway, um, he is, he's struggling with a lot of things. And um, he just let that, you know, gonna no that's it see he's he normally would have gone off running he's never caught one ever you see in his head bobbling like that and bunny's just teasing he ran across the yard there so here's where we are he's in there's maybe three stages to this the first stage is just the dragging of the toes and a few things and crisscrossing of the back legs and then into the intermediate stage they start having difficulty walking all together, it progresses to the front. Um, they start having trouble uh, getting up, getting down, falling. Um, right now he is able to get to his food, but it's a struggle. He, uh, with that shaking of his head, he aims for the bowl and he misses and aims for the bowl and misses. We bought a strap uh, harness that I can wrap around him to get him up and down the stairs that's of some help on me. Um, and. Um, We've made a decision to make him as comfortable as possible. There is no treatment for this. The time frame that he may survive is, you know, anywhere from the end of this day till six months to, you know, we don't know. But we've got to make some decisions. He's not in any pain. 
he's um, he's aware of his situation because he knows not to walk on slick floors. Uh, he stays on the rugs that we've put down, and um, he still has an appetite. We want to be careful that we don't pork him up too much, but at the same time, I see no reason to deny him of things that that make him happy. Um, breaks my heart, but we're talking about maybe making a bucket list of things and making sure that he can do some of those things again at least once. My wife thinks about cooking him a steak just for him and taking him back to some of the parks that he likes or at least one over to Salt Creek and helping him down the water. But it's a matter of time at this point. We want to make him comfortable. Uh, I am carrying him a lot of places, but he does get up and walk for a little while. He, he made a pee pee today and you know, a couple times. He's drinking, he's eating, not in any pain. We're going to make him as comfortable as possible. We're going to enjoy every minute we have with him. I uh, read something today that um, a dog will never break your heart until his stops beating. And um, this dog has never broke my heart. Never had a better dog. He doesn't dig. He doesn't bark. Uh, even if he chases a bunny, he's never killed anything. My chickens and ducks are mean to him. He's never been mean to them. He's always been a companion. He's always been a good bud. He's always excited to go somewhere in the car. He's always excited when we come home. He's never pottied in the house, ever. He's never eaten a cabinet or a carpet or furniture or clothing. He's always been a good guy. Never broken my heart. I've never been angry with him. Not even one ounce. So, Murphy, this is for you. I'm going to do everything I can to make you comfortable, bud. And um, my heart goes out to anyone else dealing with these kind of conditions. And uh, we did cancel our appointment at the University of Illinois because the reality is even with a hard diagnosis with uh, uh, neurolog neurological tests on his spinal fluid and uh, all that would do is, you know, guarantee a specific diagnosis, but it would not change the attempt that we are to keep him exercised, to keep him comfortable, because there's no treatment. There's no real treatment to turn it around. So uh, I'll update if and when we learn anything new. Thank you for watching these videos and uh, any input anyone has on degenerative myelot... My <laughs> I don't even want to say the word, you know. I'm not going to. But anyone that's had uh, experience with this, I'm open to hearing what you have to say. Thank you for watching.